Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today, I'm really excited because here at the channel, you know, I review so much gear and it's a blessing and I love doing it. It's a, it's a blast, guys. Uh, and I understand, particularly for a lot of you out there, because we've seen some premium stuff roll through the channel here. You know, premium backpacks, premium blades, you know, two, three hundred dollars. And I know that that is out of the price range of a lot of people. I totally get that. That's why I love doing budget stuff as well, because I understand that for a lot of you, you may only have 50 bucks a year, you know, to spend on a fixed blade. And you want to really get a good quality item for that price point. And I think that we might have that. We'll find out at the end of the video, but I think we might have that with Strade's newest offering the SCH F42, designed by Brian Griffin. Uh, this is new for 2015. They have made a lot of just design features that really stand out from the crowd in the price point. We're gonna talk about that. For those of you that are on a budget, you're gonna love this knife, I think. Uh, and just what this has to offer should cost you like $80, but it won't. So uh, I'm really excited today to show you what Schrade is cranking out and uh, just walk you through the F42 and uh, show you the pros and cons. And then by the end of the video, I really hope that you'll be able to make a wise purchasing decision and I will see whether or not this is gonna be a great purchase for those of you on a tight budget looking for a great fixed blade. So with that being said, let's start looking at the Schrade SCH F42 designed by Brian Griffin. So here are the basic specs for you here on this knife. The first thing is that it's 1095 high carbon steel uh, produced in Taiwan. Now Taiwan is a much better place for production than China. Uh, I know Shrade's had some issues with their Chinese 1095. Taiwan has never been the case. That's the exact same uh, uh, factory that the SCH F9, which is a well-known for years uh, blade that Brian Griffin designed for Shrade back in the day, um, has come out of and I've never heard any sort of problems with that 1095. I've not had any problems with this 1095. Holds a great edge, takes a great edge, and it's very good quality for a foreign produced 1095. So 1095 high carbon steel, you're looking at a cutting edge of 4.75 inches from the handle to the tip. You're looking at 5.1 inches. Overall length is 9.8 inches. It's going to weigh in knife just itself at right around eight and a half ounces and then 11 and a half with the leather sheath. You're looking at full tank construction all the way through with grivery handle scales. It is 0.19 inches thick, so just over 3 16 so very solid beefy blade full flat grind 90 degree spine recurve lots of stuff we're going to look at here today guys uh, and the price point what well, we'll talk about in a little bit but uh, 45 bucks on blade hq for the price point of this knife so those are a few of the basic specs let's keep on trucking with the f42 All right, sheath rating, four out of five. This is a great sheath, probably one of the best ones I've seen from Schrade. You got really good stitching all the way around this leather sheath, really good stamps here to hold it into place. Very nice and thick. You will not get a drainage hole, something to note. You might wanna even kinda of maybe drill a little hole in there or something. A huge belt loop right there, very durable. Leather doesn't feel you know uh, flimsy or weak. I've, I've had like a Puma knife that was really weak, lame leather. Uh, and then a really nice button snap right here that pops out of the way and then you remove your blade obviously be careful that you don't nick that leather strap but for um, a production knife under 50 bucks with everything that you're getting this is a fantastic fantastic sheath uh, obviously you probably want if this is your go-to knife want to upgrade to leather or kydex like a, a your own design but uh, or custom but for out of the box phenomenal sheath four out of five
quality. The quality level of this knife and the product, not only in the sheath, but also the blade, is really beyond compare for the, for the price point that we're about to talk about in just a moment. It is almost impossible to get this level of quality for the price point that we're gonna talk about, guys. Uh, the 1095 done in Taiwan, which is a huge step over, over made in China stuff. When it's made in China, it gets really hairy and I wouldn't be super stoked. Made in Taiwan, very good, you know, in their uh, heat treats that they're doing, their, you know, the 1095 that they're using, all that stuff is really well done. The fit and finish is very good. Uh, you know, it's not perfect, but again, the price point that we're going to be talking about, uh, the edge was perfect. The handles, there's a little bit to talk about that we'll kind of look at in a little bit. Um, but again, uh, for, for everything, the finish on this blade as well is really, really well done. It's one of the best finishes on the market. Uh, so all those things put together, and again, at the price point you're about to hear in just a moment is phenomenal guys the quality is beyond compare at that price point of what we're about to look at so quality five out of five this thing's getting fives all day long guys i mean it is it is really hard for me to put words to what you're getting with this knife this f42 it's very it's very unusual for me to get this excited and be this speechless about um, this budget an item. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the handle ergonomics and give you the rating here on the handle. I'm gonna give it a solid, very solid four out of five. Four out of five for the handle ergonomics and I'm gonna talk you through that. So what you have are grivery style handle scales, very similar to what Becker produces and puts on all of their knives. So you're getting that exact same feel, that exact same texture, all those things. So it's gonna cause a very ergonomic handle in the sense of how it feels in your hand. The all the, the angles have been really nice and rounded off. There's no hot spots, zero hot spots on this knife. I wear large size gloves. You can see there, I got huge amount to spare back here with that nice lanyard hole. You, they give you a little bit of jimping there uh, for, to grab onto if you're doing kind of like a stabbing with the blade. And uh, when it comes to stabbing, this will uh, hold in your hand rather well because they flared out the handles scales on either side like that, which is really nice. So it's gonna stay for having this style of grivery handles, which can be a little slick. And that's why I'm digging at one point. Uh, if this was my Carta in the exact same design, it would have been perfect. And five out of five, I'm giving it four out of five because that grivery is rather slick. And you'll either need to upgrade to my Carta. Some companies are already starting to make aftermarket handles for this knife. Uh, or you could even, you know, put, you know, skateboard tape, uh, different types of you know hockey tape or you know use a Dremel tool and make some etching in there just gonna give it a little bit more traction That's really my only complaint with the handle uh, But it will lock you into place real nice good finger guard there. The jimping is really uh, Aggressive so something to note. So if you're a barehanded guy you like using your bare hands when you're cutting uh, Know that this is pretty sharp jimping right here And you might want to take some fine sandpaper and just kind of round off the edges ever so slightly and then that'll really help uh, With the comfortability with gloves on it's fantastic. It really bites in those gloves really well this hump does not get in the way at all. Feels very comfortable in my hand. Doesn't, you know, it splits my index finger from the rest of the fingers very well. I'm able to do all my different style grips without any complaints because it's just a very simple straight off the back handle. And if you've been watching the channel for a while, we've talked about this at, at length, that that makes for the most ergonomic uh, handle design. So guys, a, a great handle shape. Brian Griffin with his design really did a fantastic job uh, designing the handle. And if the material was upgraded just a little bit, it would have been a five out of five, four out of five because of the semi-slick material that they chose for the knife. Value. Now, when you pair the quality and the value together, you get a ridiculous knife. And my value rating, guys, on this is five out of five all day long because it, you are going to be very hard-pressed to find anything close to the quality at this price point. And we're talking about $45, which is ridiculous. Under $50 for this knife with all the materials, all the features, and all the quality level that you're getting is really beyond compare and almost impossible to find. Very, very few knives can do it. And Schrade is doing it with this F42, guys. Uh, all of the websites, you know, Knife Center, KnifeWorks, Blade HQ, Amazon, eBay, $45 all day long, if not cheaper. And I, I would, it is, I, I can't words. Words are, I am at a loss for words for what you're getting for the price point, guys. So value again, five out of five all day long on the F42.
So throughout this video, guys, you've been seeing lots of different action shots, seeing how the F42 performs. And now I'm just gonna kind of articulate what you've been seeing in that this knife performs fantastically for a camp knife. I think it's a little too small. We may have, I can't remember when I've said that before, uh, but I think it's a little too small for being a true survival knife. Though, again, if this is all you had on you, you could definitely get a lot of work done. You know, I think a larger, heavier knife would be a little bit better for that. But for camp tasks or companion tasks, maybe you have a hatchet, maybe you have, you know, a larger, you know, fixed blade, something like that, then uh, to pair with this knife, I think is fantastic. The belly in particular with that recurve really connects well, even though it's very light weighted under uh, 10 ounces, I think it's like nine ounces, uh, connects really well and you can get some, you know, medium sized branches cleared off definitely to get your fire started, uh, you know, and then that recurve also just helps fantastically with all of the other stuff, the paracord, the feather stick making, all that stuff, guys, right in this, this is the sweet spot of this knife. The tip, very strong, as you saw with the penetration. The handle isn't really set up with the traction and the lack of traction to really be a good tactical knife, it's just not there. Um, but, uh, you know, you can definitely dig into some wood and pry some stuff if you have to. It's got a very solid, tough, durable tip. Um, the last thing with resharpening is uh, because of the recurve, you know, the, the resharpening uh, is not necessarily the easiest in the world, but it's if you have a pretty thin sharpening stone, and I'm talking like less than an inch, uh, maybe like a sharpening rod, it's very easy to get this kind of spot right here. Back here, it's a little difficult with wider stone. So you just need something narrow and it'll resharpen no problemo. So uh, guys, that's how this F42 is performing. A fantastic camp knife in its performance and overall capabilities to be sure. All right, just want to show you the F42 up against the BK16 and the BK2, because I'm sure I'm going to get this question, you know, how does it compare, size differences, all that type of stuff. Now, obviously, this is going to be the cheapest of the three that you see in front of you, uh, and it's going to be probably closest in design to the BK16. The handles are almost the exact same length and kind of fullness. The F42 will be a little bit thicker, but very similar profiles on the handles. The blades are gonna be full flat grinds, both of these down here, but you are gonna be getting uh, about a quarter inch longer on the F42 over the uh, BK16. The BK16 will be a little bit thinner at three, uh, 5 30 seconds versus the 3 16 of the Schrade. And uh, you can see there, I've done a ton of modification on the BK16. And uh, in comparison to the BK2, you're gonna get about the same blade length, but the BK2 is a much more sturdy, durable, heavier duty blade. It's a quarter inch thick versus the 3 16 I mean, you know, that's a huge amount of difference there. It's gonna weigh a pound versus like eight ounces. So it's almost double the weight. It's got a huge hook back here. So this is gonna baton and chop way better than either of these knives, particularly the Schrade. Um, this will just is gonna be a lot better at batoning and chopping and doing harder tasks. Granted, the um, F42 will be a little bit better at slicing, food prep, that type of stuff, and really compares very closely with the BK-16 and really isn't a comparison at all to the BK-2. The BK-2 is just a much heavier duty, uh, heavier weight, harder use knife than either of these uh, smaller ones. So either way, just wanted to kind of show you that as a very close competition to the Beckers with this F42. And uh, the coating is much better than what you're gonna get on Becker um, products for this uh, design. So Schrade has really knocked it out of the park and is really competing well and is really, the F42 is really an in-between. It's a little bit, you know, um, smaller and lighter weight than the BK2, but it's going to give you that same blade length, and it's a little bit heavier and a little bit longer than the BK16. So it's kind of like that middle blade between these two Beckers. Well, folks, it's time to wrap up this review for you, give you my likability, and kind of talk you through my final thoughts on the F42. So, uh, likeability is off the charts, guys. I mean, it is. It, it absolutely is. You got to buy this knife. I'm telling you. Regardless if you are kind of a knife snob, which I would not consider myself because I love this blade and this is, you know, under 50 bucks, uh, you know, or you're just on a really tight budget and you need a good about five inch knife. Uh, trust me, you are going to be so pleased with what Schrade has produced. Uh, buy this knife. Five out of five on the likeability scale. If I could give it a higher likeability, I would. This is so hard to find anything close um, to what this knife can do for you um, for, I mean, even double the price. Go, go look up some $80 and $90 knives and I, I would, 
I would bet that very few of them are going to outperform this knife. And some of them won't even have the features that this knife has, like the 90 degree spine, and I think some of the best coating on the market. So uh, guys, overall, this is a phenomenal blade. If you've been thinking about it and kind of holding off for this review, I had a lot of people asking me about it, buy this knife. You will love it regardless. Again, if you've got two or $300 knives in your collection, you'll still love this knife. And if you are just really tight on a budget, you want a really good, reliable blade, I love this thing. You won't regret it. And it'll be very sturdy, durable blade for you uh, for years and years, in my opinion. One of the best designs that Schrade has ever done. Schrade, keep thinking this way, keep producing this way, and I guarantee you, you're gonna get a lot more people on your bandwagon. So um, anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for checking out the channel. Uh, always remember to check us out on all the relevant social media. We're always posting up photos, little you know short videos of upcoming reviews, things like that. It's a great way to for me to connect with you guys on a more personal basis. So check us out on all the relevant social media. Uh, and as always, remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.